Ah, how you doing? Hope you're having an awesome day. In this video, you are going to have the keys so that you can break 80 for the first time. It's gonna happen. Let's go. Okay, so it's a, it's a lot easier than you might think to break 80, okay? it's not, Now, if you don't put in the work, it's not going to happen, and you're gonna have to at least practice you know, consistently to be able to do it, but there's three keys, that's it. There's tee shots, there's short game, and there's putting, okay? And I'm gonna give you, in the, right in a second, the three, the drill for each one that's going to get you to break 80. If you do these, you do it the right way, how I, show, how I show you, you'll nail it and you'll do it. And if you don't, then um, you will. If there's not even a don't, you will. Okay, stop thinking you won't, you will. And it will happen fast, like real fast. We'll see, here we go. We're gonna start um, short game, here we go. Okay, get your most favorite short game wedge whatever it is, like around the green sand shots, that kind of thing. For me, it's my 60 degree, so I'm gonna do that. I'm using a Vokey SM8, uh, what is this, M grind, eight degrees of bounce. You gotta, you know, whatever works best for you, do that. Um, get a club head cover, your driver, driver. There's no flag, you don't need a flag. Coronavirus, so no flags, right. Um, throw this thing on the, on the dang green. Okay, so that's gonna be right there. I don't want it too far for now. I just want it right there. And then all you need are five golf balls. Five. Don't get 25. Get five. If you have, well, I'll tell you in a minute. Uh, all right. That, that, that's how you start. You, that's it. I told you. It's going to be pretty simple. Come on. Okay, like I said, we're going to keep this as simple as possible because it's really that simple to do. You just have to practice it. So five balls. Most people get like a whole bucket and they do it. And it's actually hurting you more than helping you. I only want five balls. Cause now there's a, there's a finite, finite amount. Yeah. Limited amount, whatever that means. And I have to get them all over on the green in a row. Okay. Five. You can do that, right? It's five. Boom. You only have five chances. If you don't do it, start all over. If you miss one, start all over. Fluff it up, just, you know, right here. Good, they're all on. I don't care how close they are, but if you thin one or you chunk one and it's not like, you know, on the green, then you start all over right here. Okay, so I did it, so now I get to go to phase number dose. Okay, there's a reason I wanted you to go over the trap is because the next uh, shot is going to be the same thing out of the trap. Five, five, or you start over, not here, back where we began. Make sense? You miss one of these, you gotta, you gotta go back to chipping, pitching over the bunker. In other words, there's a penalty if you miss one. That's why we're doing five. You got five, the pressure's always on. It's not too many. It's just the right amount, five. One, two. Whew. Chunked that last one a little bit, but it made it. Okay, uh, now don't give yourself a 40 yard bunker shot. Okay, most of the time when you miss a green, it's a short bunker shot. So you wanna stay short, okay? Don't make it too hard, just five. I wanted you to feel the pressure each time. Now you did it, congratulations. Go on to the last piece of the short game exercise. Come on. Okay, I just moved to the side of the bunker for you because the camera would be in the bunker, it'd look weird. But just go right in front of the bunker, I want you close. Now, some of you are gonna say, well, why don't I go from the easiest shot to the hardest? No, don't do that. You gotta go pitch, sand, then short little, short little guy. Cause this is where you're almost done. I want the most pressure on you on the shortest shot. Cause it's those short shots 
that are causing you to not break 80 because you chunk these or just totally blow these ones and I want the most pressure on you from a short little guy onto the green. Make sense? Five in a row, it's gotta be on the green. Now, I, like, I forget three foot circle, all that. That's just like to break 80, you just need it somewhere on. You'll be good. And uh, feeling the most pressure because I'm all, almost done with this part. Let's do it. There you go. You're done with the short game piece of the puzzle. Now we're gonna do putting, and there's really just one putting drill that you need to do that's going to be the key to breaking 80. Come on. Okay, here is your drill. You need one other piece of uh, equipment. Your towel is fine. Uh, I'm gonna start here and leave that club head cover right where it is. I'm gonna march off 40 feet. 40, not 20, not 30, not 38, not 42, 40 feet for this drill. Here we go. Okay, here it is. Those are uphill 40 footers. These are downhill 40 footers coming this way. I need to get all five balls within a five foot circle of the towel and the club head cover. I gotta do five in a row this way and then five in a row that way. Okay? If you miss, whatever, you gotta do, so you gotta do five in a row and then five in a row. If you miss this way, you start all over going uphill. Make sense? So you gotta do it in a row. You don't have to go back to chipping, but you gotta do this back and forth. Five in a row. You'll find the uphill ones are a lot easier, but now the pressure's on. I gotta get all five of these tight, you know, touchy little guys. Gotta dial it in. Close enough. <laughs> so I gotta do it over. Uh, but you get the idea, right? So uphill and downhill, get it within five feet. Like, look, three feet would be ideal, but for breaking 80, you just need five feet, okay? You're gonna make a five footer a lot, and you're gonna get a lot of them within three feet, so don't worry about that. But this is the right yardage, the right distance, the right everything, uphill, downhill. After you do that, all we have left are tee shots, and believe it or not, um, you're gonna nail that. Here we go. You got this, you got the chipping, tee shots, final piece, and you're breaking 80. Okay, for your tee shots, and this is the final piece, here's what you're gonna do, and you can do this, well, most likely at the range when you're hitting, okay? But you, um, you can do it on the course, you know, Luckily, this course is closed today. They let me shoot out here, so that's awesome. So I'm gonna use this hole for this scenario. Range is closed, otherwise I'd be there. But this time you're gonna need three balls, and that's how you're gonna do this drill. And what you're gonna do is you're going to get your three go-to clubs, okay? Or your three tee shot clubs. For me, it's my driver. I've got a TS3 driver, okay? I either hit that, or most likely, I'm going to hit, if I'm not hitting a driver, I'm gonna hit my five wood. I have my Maverick five wood, so that's that. And then if I'm not hitting those and I'm hitting an iron, I will hit my four iron. This is the Callaway Apex Pro Forged four iron. So what I'm gonna do, driver, I'm gonna start with driver. I always start with the hardest one, okay? Well, four iron might be the hardest, but either way, start with the biggest club, driver, then five wood, then four iron. Uh, that should be, the order in which you make your decisions on the golf course. I'm hitting driver, okay, I'm not, uh, next club would be five wood and then like, dude, I gotta really play safe, four iron. That's kind of how you process it and how you go about, at least you should, right? Otherwise, you're probably not gonna break 80 anyways. Just kidding. Uh, okay, so what I'm gonna do is hit my driver. What I have to do is hit the fairway all three times in a row, or I start over back with the driver, right? So pick the fairway at the range, or if you're here and there is a fairway, use that. Either way, 40 yard, 50 yard wide zone is what you're looking for. Okay, I got it with my driver so I can move on. If I didn't, I just hit it again. Second shot, five. Go. 
Great, pulled it a little bit, but because I laid back, it's good. So good there. Last up, the one with the most pressure would be four iron. Here we go. Fantastic, I got them all. Now, what I would do is, I would do this five times. Start again with the driver. And I do it five, if I, and I have to get all three in a row for it to count. I don't have to do five times in a row, but I have to do it five times where I get three in a row. Make sense? So now, I would do it again. The key is we don't want you to get comfortable just hitting repetitious shot after shot after shot. Like, I don't want you just banging drivers all day. That's not gonna help you. We've gotta go different clubs, precise, and get comfortable so you'll know what works, what works under pressure, and what to avoid. And those are gonna be the keys. This, the putting drill, the chipping drill are going to be the three keys that get you to break 80 for the first time. And once you do that, you're off and running. You're gonna, then you're gonna wanna go lower and lower and lower. Woo, it's gonna be an exciting journey for you. I'm excited for you. Do this drill, it will work. Put in the time. <sighs> make it hard. If it's too easy, make it harder. Add more balls, add more time, add more reps. Constantly challenge yourself, you will get better. Good luck, make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Love you guys. See you in the next video. Might be breaks. Seven. Who knows?